Now my 1982 Suzuki is a wonderful time machine for me. It brings me back to a time in my life when things were so much different and I have great memories at that time. And I'm gonna share some of them with you on this video and we're gonna go out and take a ride. You can watch this in 4K, just adjust your device. Now I have heard many times, many arguments that back in the day, back in the day, well, <laughs> 1982 was back in the day. Maybe you weren't even born in 1982. Sometimes I run into somebody, you tell them about 1982, they don't even know about it. Anyway, that we have a funny saying, and I always think it's, it's with tongue in cheek. Back in the day when men were men. Well, I don't know if that's really true, but I know this bike, when I'm riding it, I always have some thoughts about what was different about the 80s, different than now. Bike dealerships were different. Dealing with the world was different. There was a lot more honesty and, and integrity and things, but this was a wonderful time to be alive, and I relive it every time I get out on the GS. Now, I love all my modern bikes. Don't get me wrong. Like, one is good and one is bad. They're different, and what's important for me to understand, each one brings back a, a different memory of a different time. Now, this bike is only 15 years old, but it's already... Being with me for 15 years, it has a certain nostalgia to it. It has a certain, when I'm riding it, I, I go back to the days of Motorcycle Mall in the old building. Well, but the GS is different. The GS goes way back to when, and I'm laughing and saying men were men. So many things were different. They're just unbelievable, and motorcycles were different. And when I got that bike as a new bike, and I went out on the road, I looked around, and I, I literally thought I was the king of the world of motorcycles. So the day is always the same early, get the bike ready, pre-flight the bike, check the air and the tires, wipe the bike, get the bugs off, look for anything that's loose or falling off. This is a 44 year old motorcycle I own since new and I totally try to over maintain it every chance I get. I want it to be as reliable as possible, as often as possible and I don't want to be doing maintenance out on the road. I have to do farm chores, feed the fish, take care of Karen's little garden before we go. Karen and I do all that stuff before I head out on the open road. Once I get out on the open road, what happens is my, my mind turns to back to the days of the 80s. And I'll share some of the little thoughts I have during this ride. Maybe you were around in the 80s. Maybe you have the same experience. I'm, I'm not sure. But I know I had these things that I went through my mind back then that I've never forgotten. And this bike, this bike in particular, after 44 years... It helps me relive what was a wonderful time in my life. Now back in the day, I bought this bike from Westwood Suzuki in 1982. I went for a test ride on it, and I've said it before, I had to have one. I went, sold everything. I wanted to have one. And I can remember the bike dealerships back then, it, they're a lot more modern now. They're like a clothing boutique, and they sell everything. Westwood Suzuki was a hardcore motorcycle place, and you went in there, if you were a serious buyer, and you had some money in your pocket to put a deposit down on stuff, and Hank and Barry, you gave me a million great memories over the years. Now, of course, in the early 80s, drag racing was king. All people ever talked about in magazine articles was ETs and top end speed and blah, 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 blah. The bikes were all geared a little bit too low. And uh, well, that was, that was it for the time. Hey, look at a tree down here as I stopped. That tree has been there for a while. And drag racing was king in the early 80s and this bike was a king. And I took this bike to Lake George and on long weekend trips, I had friends up there and we rode that area. I put 
thousands of miles on this bike when it was almost new, the first couple of years I had it, and great, great memories at that time. It's always sad when I see a comment on my video of somebody that had one back in the day, had it for a couple of years, and then sold it. Very, very sad. So what's different about this motorcycle than modern motorcycles? Modern motorcycles are more focused. The ones that are supposed to be track bikes are super good, super fast. They have all kinds of safety features on them. But this bike is not a real focused bike. It's focused on doing several things very well, but not one thing real well and nothing else. It's got a super good riding position. I find very comfortable the bars, the seat. The seat was always rated one of the top seats in motorcycling. It's got a decent sized gas tank. You can go 200 miles before you have to fill up with gas. The only thing I really had to change was the gearing because it was geared for basically for good ETs. I have overdrive gearing on it now, 1640, a, five, a 530 chain. And I had to resist the temptation over the years to modify the engine or put on an aftermarket exhaust. And many of my friends had a similar bike and right away to four into one exhaust and they found out, well, you really couldn't corner to the side the exhaust was on as well as with the stock exhaust. And as years have gone by, that stock exhaust to me has looked better and better and better. And I think back in the day, how many things you could buy for this bike? Bigger carburetors, different exhaust. Boy, they had every possible thing. The, the double step seat you could buy right right from the dealer. Unbelievable. I fell in love with this bike when I first got it and I wanted to always keep in mind the long term. I didn't want to do anything to it that would shorten its lifespan. And I have really made an effort over those 44 years to over maintain it, do maybe even more oil changes and filter changes than are necessary, do replacement of the chain, the tires, maybe before that they were even due, and always pre-flight the bike every day I ride it, and it has served me well. Over the years, in 44 years, I've had a minimum of things that have worn out on it, and it's just the kind of bike it's really easy to work on, and very, very easy to over maintain in every way possible. Now back in the day, Suzuki got so many things right, like the power band, like the longevity of the engine or the fact you could double the power and go racing with it and it held up great. So many things they got right and they're still right today. Now, I always feel like I'm very, very lucky to live in this part of the world where there's just seems like a plenty of nice back roads with shade on days that it gets too hot. It's nice and cool today, but just endless levitation changes up and down and around and twisty roads, plenty of everything. And I try to get out on your open road every day. And pretty soon I'll be celebrating my 79th birthday. I've had the bike 44 years. It's been part of my life more than half of my life. And I absolutely will never sell this bike. And one thing, and to me it's a big thing, I think it's one of the prettiest motorcycles ever designed. And you can see the whole engine, you can see the polished cases, you can see the exhaust is chrome, black, it was black chrome in the beginning. That's an 86 exhaust, by the way. 
I love to see an engine where you can see the engine in a motorcycle and polish it, keep it whistle clean. That's the styling that really appealed to people in the 80s. And all the companies that now make the retro machines, yeah, I agree. They're, they're modern. They have all the features and fuel injection and everything. But there is nothing like getting on one of these ponies. That's the real deal. The whole real deal. Oh, the hours have passed by very pleasantly. A lot of nostalgic memories of days gone by. Days we probably never will get to live again. And now it's time to get back to the farm, see what Karen's got brewing, some iced tea, some coffee, whatever. It was so nice and cool. Oh my God, it was beautiful. Yes, yeah, really nice. It turned, turned out to be a super nice day. I'm ready to have coffee on a porch instead of iced tea and go back to being a modern man now that we know what, uh, what men were like in the day of men were men. So it really was a nice ride. It really was beautiful. It was nice and cool today for a change. Very rare that we had a cool day this time of year. And back in the days when men were men, boy, a lot of good memories there, a lot of them. Hope you did enjoy the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button if you did, and thank you so much for watching.